I am Moen Kashab, Assistant Professor of Medicine and Director of Therapeutic Endoscopy at Johns Hopkins Hospital. The title of my paper is Endoscopic Ultrasound is Still Superior to CT for Detection of Pancreatic Neuroinductive Tumors. Abdominal CT is the imaging modality that is most commonly used to investigate known or suspected penis or pancreatic neuroinductive tumors. Multiple studies have investigated the utility of CT in diagnosing peanuts with reported sensitivity of 64% to 82%. The majority of studies in the literature that compared EUS to CT suggest that EUS is superior for the diagnosis and localization of peanuts. However, improvement in CT over time with multi-detector scanners may have increased detection rates. Hence, the role of EUS for detection of PNETs is not clearly defined in institutions that use multi-detector CT for pancreatic imaging. The primary aim of this study was to compare the detection rates of EUS and CT by type and size of PNETs and to calculate the incremental benefits of EUS over CT. Our prospective pathology database was searched for peanuts that were resected at Johns Hopkins Hospital from May 1984 to August of 2009. In 217 patients with 231 peanuts studied, CT detected 84% of tumors. CT detected only 54% of insulinome. The sensitivity of multi-detector CT for detection of peanuts was 76% when one slice scanner was used, 74% with four slice scanners, 89% with 16 slice scanners, and 89% with 64 slice scanners. The increase in sensitivity was significant over time. CT was more likely to miss lesions less than 2 cm in size or lesions that were insulinomous. In 56 patients who had both CT and EUS, the sensitivity of EUS was greater than CT, 91% versus 63% with a significant p-value. Particularly for insulinomous, 84% versus 31% with significant p-value. EUS detected 20 of 22 CT negative tumors. In general, CT has a suboptimal sensitivity for diagnosing small penis. In particular, the sensitivity of CT in detecting insulinomas can be as low as 14 to 30 percent due to the fact that the average size of insulinomas at diagnosis is 6 to 10 millimeters, with 90 percent under 2 centimeters. CT, however, should be performed to exclude metastatic disease if the primary tumor is large or locally invasive. In conclusion, the detection rate of CT has significantly improved over time but still misses penis. CT negative tumors are small and more likely to be insulinomous, which are easily visualized by EUS. EUS can detect 91% of CT negative pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors. In general, a sequential approach of CT followed by EUS can detect virtually all pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors.